Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of probability of the probability that a test statistic t is greater than a given threshold gamma. That is, given the given the test statistic t that follows a normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square, we want to derive the probability of t greater than a given threshold gamma. So, the probability of t greater than gamma is equal to 1 minus probability that t is less than gamma. Basically, we can view this assume that gamma is given by this location, then probability of t greater than gamma, that is area under this curve after gamma is given by this probability, which is equal to 1 minus area on the left side of gamma, the threshold. So, this is equal to by changing the variable t to a standard normal variable, that is z equal to t minus mu by sigma, we have 1 minus probability of z less than gamma minus mu by sigma, which is equal to 1 minus phi of gamma minus mu by sigma, where phi is the CDF, that is cumulative distribution function for a standard normal random variable. This phi, that is phi of x is the CDF, that is f of x corresponding to a standard normal variable that has 0 mean and variance 1, that is the random variable x follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. Therefore, the probability that t is greater than gamma is equal to 1 minus phi of gamma minus mu by sigma. The value of phi at any given location or at any given value can be easily determined by using standard normal CDF tables. Another function that is commonly used for representing this probability is the q function, that is q of x is equal to integral x to infinity 1 by square root of 2 pi exponential of minus t square over 2 dt. Note that this function q of x is also related to the error function and also complementary error function. So, q of x is defined by this integral. Then the probability of t greater than gamma is clearly equal to q of gamma minus mu by sigma. From the structure of this integral, we can clearly see that it is actually equal to 1 minus phi of x. Since phi of x is equal to integral minus infinity to x, 1 by square root of 2 pi exponential of minus t square by 2 dt. So, since phi of x is this integral, q of x should be equal to 1 minus phi of x. Therefore, probability that t is greater than gamma is clearly given by the value of the q function at gamma minus mu by sigma. Thanks for watching.